Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. Which means as followers of Jesus, each of us is to live out the Lord's ministry, proclaim God's message of love, and go into the world in service as missionaries. While each of us are called to the mission field, the Holston Conference is privileged to have a special group of missionaries who serve the needs of the disenfranchised, work for economic justice, and seek to bring healing to a wounded and broken world. They are the Church and Community Workers, or CCWs. The role of the Church and Community Worker is to act as a bridge connecting the Church to the community and the community to the Church. Each CCW is selected and assigned by the General Board of Global Ministries to serve in a particular mission field based on their gifts for ministry. Holston currently helps support four Church and Community Workers, with two at Project Crossroads in Marion, Virginia, and one each in the Big Stone and Taswell districts. We're also excited about the possibility of an additional CCW to be assigned to the Jubilee Project in the Morristown district. So now, let's take a closer look at how God is working through our CCWs in the communities where they serve. I'm Mark Stransky. I'm a church and community worker serving at Project Crossroads in Marion, Virginia. We're getting ready to roll here in uh, probably about a month. Harry and I right now are uh, assessing projects, uh, trying to kind of uh, figure out the, the people that have the most severe needs so we can start on those projects first thing uh, this summer. And we're excited about uh, the teams that are signing up and coming. Several years ago, there's a lady in Perival uh, we were made uh, aware of that had a, a roof leaking. Come to find out, every room in her house leaked except the living room. Uh, she also had a porch in the front that she didn't use because the boards uh, were weak and, and some of them broke, broken and rotten. Uh, and a lot of other needs on the house uh, that had been kind of neglected over the years. And, uh, but she made a statement, said, you know, at night when I hear the, the thunder in the distance or I see lightning or even hear the rain, says, yeah, I start crying because I'm afraid that my house is gonna fall down around me when the rain comes. And literally the ceiling in her bedroom had already started falling, half of it had already fallen away and there was nothing but exposed beams. And she was uh, feeble and she used a walker to get around. So it was kind of difficult to get out of bed to get to the living room. But she'd sit there in the living room in a rocker all night long. She'd just weep and cry. I said, I just pray, Lord, let my house outlive me. Well, she felt abandoned and forgotten. And so one of the public health nurses called me and I made a visit. And so we set that project up. In fact, we had a group from Trinity United Methodist Church that came that summer and worked on our home, as well as another group. Uh, uh, and in two weeks, we repaired her roof and repaired her ceiling and did the work on her porch so that her home was safe and secure. And you know, she was all excited. And I think not so much that the teams came and fixed her home, but that they were just there with her. Uh, the presence, that's what made the difference. And it changed not only her life, but the folks that came to serve with her. You know, she realized that the church indeed had come to be with her, and she felt God's presence in those that came to serve and repair her home. And it made a difference not only in her home, but also in her life. Project Crossroads means where the presence of Christ meets human need. That juncture is where mission takes place, and that juncture is where Christ's presence is made known. Uh, one way you can get in touch with us and find out more about Project Crossroads is projectcrossroads.holston.org and through that uh, website you can also get an application and apply to come as a work team and work with us. My name is Connie Purcell and I have been a church and community worker for 13 years. Uh, the last three of those 13 years have been in the beautiful hills of Southwest Virginia in the Appalachian Mountains. One of the goals that I always have, and one of the questions I always have is how can we develop relationships along with uh, providing things for people? I'm particularly excited to show off the thrift store that we have in Duffield. A year ago, the thrift store was closed. It had just gotten piled high with boxes and people were not coming as much and it smelled bad. And through, the, through a three month period, we cleaned it out. Uh, some mission groups came through and painted and built shelves and helped us make it a, a wonderful store and really a ministry to that community.
The Tazewell District Cooperative Ministries is a unique church and community worker placement because for one thing, it's brand new. We're nine months old and it really exists to coordinate the efforts of the 83 churches of the Tazewell District to reach the least and the lost. So I spend a lot of my time in conversation with the people that call themselves United Methodists in Giles, Bland, Tazewell, Russell, and Buchanan counties and ask them things like, for who does your heart break? And in those conversations, we learn where people are being called to serve their neighbor and how to love those who are difficult to love. Part of being a church and community worker means that I don't necessarily come into an area with projects in mind, but really listen to what the community needs and what those in the churches are really wanting to do. An example of that is in Giles County, we had a group of churches who combined to form a United Methodist Women Group, and they were concerned that there were children at the local elementary school that were not being fed on the weekends. And so they asked for assistance with that, and currently we're feeding 13 children six meals over each weekend, and it's including almost 18 different churches, civic organizations, and individuals to do that. So it has been a great success. The school um, reports that the children are coming to school on Monday ready to learn. We have discovered through this that we have a segment of our population, our older adults, many of our grandparents that are going hungry. We hear stories of the children sharing their backpacks worth of food with those grandparents. So this uh, ministry is spawning a new ministry that we hope to be up and running in the next couple months to provide food for some of our grandparents as well. Jubilee Project envisions a world where people have enough, where those who have more share with those who have less, and where those who have less have relief from oppression and hope for the future. With that vision in mind, our mission here is just very simple. We're here to relieve the oppression of poverty in the name of Jesus Christ. Toward that end, we do home repairs. We do water projects. That includes establishing wells and springs and, and plumbing and bathrooms and everything it needs to, to bring a family safe, clean drinking water. Part of our ministry is a clothing ministry. Sneedville United Methodist Church helps us with that. They have a clothing center. We collect the donations and send them to Sneedville United Methodist Church. Every school-aged child gets an opportunity to come to the clothing center and receive clothing as well as pick out clothing. They go shopping for their families. Usually we do it right before Christmas and again in the spring so that the kids are able to pick out things they'd like to take home to mom or dad and give as gifts. Jubilee Project is waiting on a church and community worker. That person will come and hopefully provide dedicated long-term service to help us promote our programs, fund our ministry, and keep things going. Our prayer is that the people of the Holston Conference will continue to support these devoted missionaries through your prayers, presence, and gifts. We also hope that you will join with them in the mission field as ambassadors for Jesus Christ, helping to transform the world one life at a time.